Hi there, this is above VTT bite size. This is a quick whistle stop tour around the UI for a DM. So as a dungeon master, you'll go in to the DD Beyond campaign page. See here, join as DM. If you really wish to, you can look at the various instructions and um, but I will just go join as DM. This will bring up a new tab as it connects into the encounter builder. You can see it's using the latest release candidate version that dot seven 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 and our release candidate three close the model and quickly looking up there's up on the top left top right bottom left bottom right on the top left we have select which enables you to select tokens enables you to select group tokens the ruler straightforward left and click enables you to very easily gauge distance. Fog is what it does, it allows you to reveal and hide various shapes around the fog. Likewise, drawing gives you various shapes, allows you to choose various colors, allows you to create shapes with borders that are filled in, increase the line width, etc. It's all very self-explanatory, enables you. What's come out in these latest releases is we're able to actually create text upon the maps that you have. Um, within this AOE button, it's area of effect items for using the maps. Now this number is uh, referring to feet, for example. So um, five up to whatever you want. So we have various um, shapes and sizes and colors. If you need help, we have a help button, which will show you some sheet game keyboard shortcuts and also delivers you straight into the fact that we that we um, update on. When you come up here, try to go back to select. Now as a DM, one of the most important things you'll probably live in this map is you'll live in the combat tracker. Now this combat tracker enables you to roll initiative for all your monsters that you've got inside if you haven't done that previously. It has a round counter. Um, and when we go into later videos, I'll, I'll take you through an actual combat. On the bottom left, we have this icon here, which allows you to select multiple dice. Um, you are able to select this, send it to everyone on yourself. If you send it to everyone, it will go to everyone who's playing on the table. Self, obviously, self-explanatory. So we can then just press this button here and it rolls. All oh, wonderful. You can see the dice roll and it's using the dice that you have already set up within d, &D Beyond as your own. And you can see the results in the game log. Now, before I go over there, the final thing in the bottom here is there's a little button for Jitsi video, which is an inbuilt video thing, if you so wish to use. Now, this game log is the predominant thing that you use to be able to track all of the various roles from your players. In addition, you have an extra sent to everyone aspect. So even though you may roll to yourself, you may wish to then show your players what happened. That button there enables it to be put to everyone. Now, you can also do some text commands within this um, box. And you're also able to select various dice from here as well. They also utilize your d, &D Beyond dice. And similar again, you can see that as the dice roll and wear off, you can also send that to the game log. Now this top um, right area, this button here allows you to fit the map to your screen. You can zoom out, you can zoom in, Put back to the middle. If you wish to hide the game log for whatever reason, depending on the size of your map, so be it. Now, this game log, you can set your roles, either everyone or self. This top button here with the person looks like you effectively have, and um, you can see that this is all of the various tokens for players, for monsters, the ones that are built into above VTT your own custom tokens, and also all the tokens that you can create using d, &D Beyond Encounter Builder. This um, item refers to all of the various scenes that you can create. This is our sound pad, which is currently going through a revamp, but you can still use it currently. It's just, a, you know, it needs a bit of work. But we have um, a demo which enables you to to showcase how you play it, but as a DM, you would effectively look after all the various music and enable it to go to your players. 
This button here provides the actual notes, which are visible for all your players. And this final button in the corner conducts your import and export of your files. And um, if you wish to save something, or, and these are all the various default settings that you can have for your tokens. That is nice and simply the UI as a DM for above BTT.